A lovely day for football and a warm welcome to Goodison Park here on Merseyside. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Everton up against Watford. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players. He can go past people with ease and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. And now they get the ball rolling. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Luca Digne plays with Seamus Coleman in the fullback positions. Alan starts alongside Abdoulaye Dukure in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. He takes aim. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Now sending it in. Well, not the best clearance. He's driven in the corner. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. No, high quality defending. Alan. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Gray. Calvert-Lewin. Dukure. Bit wasteful from Everton. Please contact the nearest security guard. Thank you. Joshua King. Now can they make something happen? And still dangerous. Strong but fair tackle. Oh, what an opportunity. A goal! 1-0! A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, here it is again. And if you are going to clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. And they don't do that. It's a poor clearance. And suddenly, the ball's in the back of the net. get the ball rolling once more let's find out how they're going to react to this setback Alan moving it forward and here's Alan Pavard Lewin well not a million miles away from the equaliser well he couldn't quite get it on target but at least they're making chances now. Richarlison. Ducouré. And here's Coleman. Townsend. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. 
Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there, but I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. An opportunity to level matters. And he puts it away confidently. Well, here's the replay, and it's almost the perfect penalty. Keeper's guessed the right way, but it's sucked so far into that corner, it's almost impossible for him to save. That's how you take a spot kick. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Ismail Assar. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Gray on the ball, Richarlison Richarlison well they keep passing away Alan Havert Lewin Alan that's a very impressive piece of defending well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Joshua King. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Laid into the box. Ah, goalkeeper's ball. Not the best of crosses, really, was it? Well, the stats don't lie. Everton have had a lot of possession, but in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. Coleman. It's with Ducure. Townsend. And did well to keep hold of it while waiting for the support to arrive. Superbly read and executed. Tom Cleverley. On to King. Emmanuel Dennis. And there it is, the half time whistle. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Alan. Gray now. It's with Alan. I oh, just couldn't keep the ball. A creative look about this. Decided to come in from the flank. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Yurai Kutska. Promising possession, this. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Chance to run at them. Townsend. Ducure. Excellent challenge. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. It needs an accurate cross. Covert Lewin. Well read to put an end to that attack. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? It's opening up for them. Rose. Marvellous tackle by Seamus Coleman. Gray. Alan. Calvert-Lewin 
Everton moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. Well, they've been quiet for a while now, but this has got them going. So making the substitution now. Number 11, Damari Gray. Coming onto the pitch, number 26, Tom Davis. Elects to go short. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Kutska. And space to exploit, maybe. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Sizoko. Now with King. Really vital interception here. Coleman. It's with Ducure. Calvert Lewin. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Still pushing for what could be a winner. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Emmanuel Dennis. Kutska. King. Is it going to be? Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. And they need to get tighter. Yeri Mina. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Cover Lewin, and just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. And there goes the final whistle. No cause for celebration in the Everton camp. A defeat for them here. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever. And now they get the ball rolling. He takes aim. Oh, really, command. 